J'étais habitué à Colouésie quand j'étais petit garçon à 13 ans au petit séminaire. Et quand j'ai émigré aux États-Unis, j'ai rencontré des, des survivants qui m'ont donné le courage, comme partout dans le monde, dans les autres pays, pour demander à, à, au Vatican et au pape François d'appliquer les lois qu'il a créées au sommet de 2019. Parce que s'il si ne peut pas aider les Africains, ça va continuer dans le noir pour plusieurs années encore. And we're here to uh, uh, pressure Pope Francis to take action on a very important case here in the, in the DCR uh, involving the rape of a 14-year-old girl. She knows about, he knows about this case, uh, raped by a priest, covered up by the bishop in violation of the Pope's new law that was meant to uh, uh, protect children and protect whistleblowers. Uh, what happened after the abuse was reported to the bishop, the, the, the good sisters and priests that reported it all got fired and the order disbanded and the girl has left the country in fear of her life. If the Pope doesn't enforce this law, uh, he's sending a message throughout all of Africa, bishops, it doesn't matter, do what you want. If he enforces this law, he sends a message that he, that he cares about the African children. Thank you.